everyone, my name is Stacy Barkey and this is the Barkey Bunch Bus. We live in here with five children and me and my husband and we started with seven of our children in here. Lost two along the way or? Uh, they grew up. Oh, they but do they that. Do, they do miss it very much. Kids tend to grow up. Yeah, they, they, they remind us how lucky we are every time they call. <laughs> and this is my husband, Will. Hello, how are you? Hi. Oh, you want me to tell, you, yeah, tell me about the bus. Okay, so we started um, not sure what we were doing. We hadn't seen anything on much on YouTube or the internet or anything. And so I wanted to buy a bus. And my husband's like, that's kind of crazy. So I went to the local school mm -hmm. district and I said, I want to buy a bus. How do I buy a bus? And they said, hey, we have this one right here. We're going to put on silent auction for 10 days. They put it on next, next day and I got it for $1,100. Nice. And we've now used it for five years, and we've gone across the country three times, across and back. What's nice Michigan. about getting yeah. it directly from a school district is you can talk to the maintenance guys. They can tell you what they've done to it. What they. Yeah. It took me a while to find out that yeah, my. Yeah, brand whatever. new tires on it. Yeah, so nice. It's in very good condition. Yeah. We yeah. Were, we're really happy. It That'll save you some money. <laughs> certified and and what police state sticker on it and yeah. everything. So yeah, our first sticker. 2019 it was fully inspected by the uh, state of Michigan so yeah nice so uh, we've changed a few things we used to have a couch here this works much better as storage we can have friends in we see two here and how many of our little butts we can get in here <laughs> and um, we only kept three original seats yep two these, here these two one and one in the back and then the, one of the covers right there obviously yeah yep. And our battery bank is right here. We have four Battleborns. And... Did you want to see those? No, okay. it's okay. Okay. And we like the natural hatch. We haven't done anything with them. We're happy. Yeah, with I them. wish I left mine in just for ventilation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, now, how much solar do you have? We have... Uh, we have like 800 watts. That, and it does this just fine. And four yeah. Battleborn. Yeah, I've got 780. Batteries. So, yeah. We are just so happy with it. We've been out here 10 days now or something off grid. And yeah, we wouldn't have had any problem, but you know how you feel once it gets to 60%, you just want to charge it. But yeah, yeah. the rain's a little bit, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. only one whole day of rain. Mm -hmm. This is, I've seen this fridge a lot in a lot of builds. Um, they now make them much better, but ours is five years old, and sure. I would like to replace it. They have better handles and better stuff, but that fridge is great. It's been through a lot and it's Yeah, that's our first well. experience on learning how to keep things from moving while you're <laughs> riding on a bike. We used to strap it in and now it's empty. Yeah. Um, this is oh, the first I had thing I bought. My original little dorm kind fridge just slid out one day. I'm like, yeah. I have something totally different now. <laughs> this is the first thing I bought. I thought, oh, well, campers have these little stoves, so I just need one too. And yep. honestly, I've made so many holiday meals and several dishes and I can put things all over in there and I can make it work. So we love it. We've gone through a couple sinks. I like a big sink. So I'm really happy Nobody with that. Really. And like five kids, like I said. Yeah. We had we met a cabinet maker. So he taught the my husband and the kids how to use all the tools and they did it together. And so um, each kid has one of these right. with warm and cold clothes in it because temperatures always changing everywhere we go. And so they each have one. Definitely recommend that for big families, just because you can do that. But if it was just me and her, I wouldn't have none of that and feel really open in space. Yeah. So. But I like it. Yeah. My, mine's just drawers under my bed. Right. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah. So. Anyway, well, that and a hook that hangs the hang the warmer coat on for those couple of days it gets cold. Yeah, you love hooks to hang your coat on. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we can use just about anything in here: coffee machine, blender, everything. Microwave. Right. So, yeah. So we have a curtain here. So in case they need it quieter back here. Or, or they're changing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For when they're changing, that's a lot of times we use it. But um, the kids need to make their beds right now. We're about ready to go to the laundromat tomorrow <laughs> because we've been away and we're excited for yeah. showers and laundry tomorrow. But um, they're, they're, supposed to, they're in charge of their own bed. They're allowed to have a backpack of things on their bed, um, but sometimes they accumulate more along the way. And the shower works just great, but we found that we like to conserve water more because we like to drink water and wash our dishes. So it's more like a laundry room. 
Right. <laughs> but we put a barn door. My husband got this barn door out of an Amish uh, barn. And so we love our door. Must have been fun cut, cutting the curve and getting it so... Yeah. Will, yeah. did you do that or did you have help with that? Uh, I did that. Good job. Yeah, other hatch. We have room for three hammocks in here. So in case we have friends, the table goes down to a bed, the couches can be a bed. Right. But we have a queen size bed in the back here. And we have truck cushions on the side um, for another bed, but they like the hammock more. Right. So, but we pick up things all along our way. We've got little animals and bandanas and all the stuff we put up in here. But my one of my favorite things that, and most expensive things we bought for the bus other than the solar was our toilet. We had the separate. And I didn't know what I was buying. I called and thought I was gonna buy a nature's head. And the guy on the phone was uh, like, asked, can I ask you a few questions before you buy it? And I was like, yeah, sure, but I want the nature's head. You know, I want the nature's head. Everybody's got the nature's yeah. head. And he's like, no, you want the separate. And I was like, what? Okay. So I just bought it, you know? I just, I didn't even think of it. It was $1,000, you know? But I am so thankful for that toilet. I don't want anything but that toilet in here. It's wonderful. We have not done anything with that toilet since we got here for like 10 days. Right. We can go a good two weeks without even... And then we... That's nice. And it's really easy. Just take it to the garbage. You see, I, I built my own. Yeah. Actually, when I started the bus build, my wife said, you're not going to build your own toilet. You're going to buy one. Then she passed away. And I built a toilet. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, now that I know how it's made, I would have built it myself. I'm mine's based money, around but... a Rubbermaid tub. Yeah. A big one. And I only have to empty it like every five, six months, but it's just me using yeah. it. So right, it's right, not right. like I fill it up real right, quick. But, like, but there's so many better ways to do things than wastewater. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. But we love our bus. It's home for. Oh, it's like about. This falls all the time. Sorry about that. Okay. That's a highlight. It's right home there. for about five months every year. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. I like yes. the bus. Thank you, You're Steve. Welcome.